from Rainbow Nutrients R&D. In today's episode, we're going to do part four of our hop test garden uh, using Rainbow Nutrients. Now, if you recall in my first video, I said that I'd be happy if I got any kind of result whatsoever. Now, not only did I get results, but my plants have exploded with growth. There are buds everywhere. I'm probably going to have enough hops for the rest of the year. Now, the reason why I'm most excited is because generally speaking, the consensus is that it takes about three years for a hop plant to mature. Now, because I'm happy with the results that I got in year one, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to have full yield by year two. Now, for you commercial growers out there, what this means is that for a small little investment in nutrient product up front, you can cut down your mature plant cycle by one full year, which means that you're in full production in two years instead of three. This is amazing. So if you want, I'll show you my garden, I'll show you what I've been able to do, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the video section, and uh, hopefully I can answer whatever I can. Okay guys, let's check out my garden. So this is where I met with my hop garden and uh, I said before it was a four month update. This is actually a four and a half month update. Uh, there was a pretty nasty uh, rainstorm over the last little bit so it uh, caused me to have to hold up on uh, shooting for a while. But as you can see here, we are absolutely exploding with hop flowers. So very, very successful results with our product line as well as with the technique that I was using. And they just don't stop. But uh, I'm lucky I should have enough hops to uh, brew beer for the rest of the year. I had a little accident here with one of the strands of the bind. It uh, actually just popped right off and I lost a whole bunch of hops that were in there. But uh, if you can see here, I should have enough. So absolutely fantastic results. Now, if we get a close up here, you'll see the ideal time to actually start picking these. So as you can see here, we're fairly sturdy, but uh, some of the hops, they're starting to turn brown on the outside, and this is the key to actually starting to get your uh, harvest going on. So you can see there's just starting to get brown, so these are ready to be picked. And I don't want to wait much longer, because you run into a scenario where you get, a, it's almost like a bud rot. But uh, I'll show you one. I've got a couple of hops over on the other side here. I'll, I'll show you a close-up of uh, what happens when you leave your hops for a little bit too long. So this is a good example of what happens when you leave the hop a little bit too long. Now I don't have a lot of these, uh, this is just one that stood out here. But if you break this open, you'll see that the end of it has actually turned a little bit orange. And you don't want to see this, you want it all to be green, but you want the outsides to be turning a little bit brown. So it still has that lupulin that uh, you're going to want, but I don't like this stuff. So I'm just going to throw this one away and I'll uh, harvest all the good ones. Okay, I'll do one last pan by here just to show you uh, the full spectrum here, but uh, very, very happy. In the next segment I'll shoot, I'm going to actually dry these up. But i got to pick these pretty fast because I've only got a small dehydrator to dry these up, but uh, just exploding. <laughs> 